Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Someone hid the truth from you, and right now they are, they are on the serious threat, or else they, it's going to be exposed. They are on their serious blackmail and threat. Someone is blackmailing them to, to expose it out. Someone is blackmailing them to expose it out. Um, I always say one thing. When you get to that particular, everybody has secrets, right? There are some particular secrets that you don't hear from people, especially as trust grows, as people grow with you. There are particular secrets that you no more want to hear from them. So <clears throat> people love people they can trust. People want to be with who they can trust. People want to be with who they are comfortable around. All right. So people love people they can trust and they want to be with who they are comfortable around. So when you begin to grow with somebody who is beginning to trust you more, somebody who you're beginning to be a little comfortable, of course, there are some people whom the moment you start saying, oh, this is the secret I've been keeping, like, oh, now, okay, what is the secret? It's not every secret that you expose, and it's not every secret that you see, all right? There are some secrets that you have to keep it in you till you die. Why? Because those particular secrets have to do with your personal life and your personal mindset. If you can take them mentally and personally, and you know that if I say this is going to spoil my relationship with this person, please don't say it, okay? Because there are secrets that some people cannot take it. But I'm talking about a secret that it cannot be hidden, a secret that will obviously get exposed someday, a secret that only you know about is good. I have secrets in my life that only me knows that this had ever happened. And I cannot want to say it because it might jeopardize maybe my relationship you know, but if I'm led to say it for my mental health, if my mental health is not okay, I'm led to say it. Of course, I'm definitely going to talk about it just so I can be set free from it. That's what I'm trying to say. And I hope that you get it and you understood what I'm trying to say better. So for, but if you know that you can take these and let it not spoil what you're having, then you can go on with it. Okay. Except it's not okay with you. And then you're feeling led or God tells you, you have to say this. But what is not called for should not be said. It's going to bring unnecessary problems where there were no problems in the very um, first place. Okay, so everybody has a secret. But there are particular secrets that maybe you did against somebody or you know that if this person finds out, it's going to be crazy. And you know it for sure that this particular secret will someday come out. Please. When you get to that particular stage where somebody starts blackmailing and threatening you, go out and say it yourself. You know why? When people blackmail you and you give in to their blackmails, they will always keep blackmailing you. They will not stop. Honey, they are not going to stop. The moment they know that this is so dear to you and you're ready to pay, they will keep coming back to you. So when somebody is putting you on the line of trade it is better you expose it yourself when you expose it yourself is even better when you make the confession yourself is even better trust me it's much more better when you begin to do that all right so god wants to bless you god wants to uplift you god wants to transform your life on the condition that there are some things that you begin to set yourself clean of it you will receive that blessings on the other hand now let's come to this amazing um, prophetic title somebody close to you has been keeping a secret from you and this particular secret is a truth that they had to hide from you and the other person who knows about this is now blackmailing them and is telling them that they are going to come and tell you or expose them if they don't give in to their blackmails this is what is going on right now now 
Why is this particular prophetic word coming to you? What is, what is the reason you're receiving this particular prophetic word again? What, why are you receiving it right now? The reason you're receiving this particular prophetic word is for God to prepare you already. God wants to prepare you just so you're not going to be shocked anymore. God wants to prepare you just so you're not going to, 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 to be like, oh, all, all of this and all that. He's preparing your heart that whenever you hear about this, your heart should be okay. The second reason the Lord is preparing you is for forgiveness. Now, there are people who do some things and they become genuinely sorry and they change genuinely. But the problem is sometimes there are also the same categories of people who you look at them, they have already changed, but their past have not been wiped out. Somebody might want to use their past against them. I'm one of those people who do not care. So long as I know that this person has changed and you come to implicate the person before me, you come to talk about the person before me, I will not listen to you. I will not hear you. You know why? Because I'm seeing the person to have been a changed person. You dare not use another person's past to me. There are a lot of people who will lie. They will lie just because they don't want you to be with the person and they don't want you to favor the person or to help the person. I pray for you that let the Lord give you wisdom. When the truth is out, when everything is exposed, let God give you wisdom. Wisdom to better manage this particular case and scenario in jesus mighty name amen just type it on the comment section connect yourself make that confession say lord give me wisdom lord give me wisdom let god give you wisdom let god give you wisdom wisdom is very essential it's the principal thing wisdom in the name of jesus amen this if these have been of great help to you this have been of great blessings to you. I want to beg on you to keep um, praying for me. Don't stop praying for me. Please always intercede for me. Call my name in the place of your prayers. Please intercede for me. Pray for me as never before. Thank you so much for praying for me. I love you so, so much. Thank you for praying for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You're welcome. God bless you as you subscribe. Welcome to the family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.